This video covers our section on linear equations. This is mostly a review of basic algebra techniques like solving and graphing linear equations. First, we should discuss what we mean by a linear equation. Most textbooks will define a linear equation as an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, which is true, but it doesn't help to highlight what exactly makes this form linear. Basically, this is a linear equation because we have a regular x and y meaning there are no exponents on the variables, no radicals, no variables in the denominator, just a regular old x and y. We can contrast this with uh, the sections we'll see in the future where we might have an x squared, and automatically that means it's not linear. Or we might have something like uh, five raised to the x power. Again, that means we won't have something linear. So if you see an equation like either of these where there's just a regular x and y, you can assume that it is a linear equation. Now, this is what we often call standard form, the ax plus by equals c. But it's not that useful because it doesn't tell us anything about the equation. Often we prefer y equals mx plus b, which is our slope intercept form, because it tells us some stuff about the equation and it's easier to build an equation in that form. We will, we will look more at that in our uh, second section on linear equations. For this section, we'll be reviewing just some basic uh, concepts of algebra, such as uh, when you want to manipulate an equation to solve for a specific variable, a, you can add or subtract a number from both sides of an equation, or you can multiply or divide a non-zero number from both sides of an equation. For example, in this equation here, if I want to get all my x's on one side, I might choose to move the 2x to the left-hand side to combine it with the 4x. Because it's a positive 2x right now, I could get rid of it by subtracting 2x from both sides. All right, so uh, good old algebra techniques that we'll be reviewing and implementing when we work with some linear models. And lastly, we'll look at some intercepts and graphing. Keep in mind that anytime you have a graph of a linear equation or a linear equation itself, um, the, the points on the line on the graph represent solutions to the equation and vice versa. So graphing a line is a way of visualizing all the possible solutions to that equation. When we deal with um, graphing lines, often we're inter interested in the x and y intercepts. The x intercept is the place where the graph crosses the x axis. If you look at this graph over here, you can see that it crosses the x-axis at about two. So we would say the x-intercept is two or the point two zero. Similarly, for the y-intercept, that's the place where the line crosses the y-axis. You can see from this graph, the, the y-intercept seems to be four. So we could say the y-intercept is four or the point zero four. Now it's easy to find the x and y-intercepts if you have the graph, but often if we just have the equation, we might be interested in finding the x and y-intercepts. So to do this, we're gonna um, take advantage of kind of a, a common sense tip if you think about it. Um, anytime you're on the x-axis, that means your y-coordinate is zero. You haven't went up or down at all. So if you have the equation of a line and you want to find the x-intercept, you could set y equal to zero, which will force you onto the x-axis, and then you can solve for the x-value that goes with it, and that will be a way to find your x-intercept. Similarly, if you're on the y-axis, that means your x-coordinate is zero. So if you want to find your y-intercept, you can set x equal to zero, and then solve for y. So we'll be looking at some, some examples of finding x and y intercepts. Um, notice also, if you have both of those points, you only really need two points in order to graph a line. So that is also a technique of graphing a line is find the x-intercept, find the y-intercept, plot those two points, and then sketch a line between them. So the problems might be separate, just find the intercepts, or they might be graphing, uh, but you can actually put those together. So that's it. Thanks for watching.